Welcome back to What Art You Noobs with General Disturbance. Well, another replay with no countdown, but the game has started. That is a GW Panther, Geschutzwagen Panther, the tier 7 German SPG with a 15 centimeter howitzer. It's capable of doing 600 alpha, 39 millimeter pen, 7.2 meters on the burst radius, and between 10 and 18 seconds worth of stun. Now the player is somebody who's uh, new to us, but he's actually a member of Olymp. Unseen One Hades is his name, and he hasn't sent us a replay before, but I'm glad he has because he's a member of the same clan that I'm in, and, uh, and there's a lot of arty players in Olymp. Well, we're on the southwest spawn of Highway. Rounds out. Oh, that was perfect. First shot, right on the money, hits the side of the Kampfpanzer and tracks him right in this, on the spot. He had to use his repair kit to get moving again. And he is moving now and he's starting to take damage. Okay, Rams out, that might be a bit late. Oh, but he hit him. He still hit him, got the turret. In fact, just underneath the turret, you can see the shell appeared to hit the front deck just underneath the gun now the GW Panther it's the RT that was never built 1943 to 1944 Krupp worked on it and they were going to use Panther tanks to make it but instead they wanted all of the Panthers to be turned into tanks not into RT and so they had to make do with the Hummels and that's all they had instead and they did try to make some new RT using the Panzer III and the Panzer IV, the, the mock-up or the, um, what we're talking about is the Heishrek, which is a combination of a Panzer III and Panzer IV. Um, and they did make some of those, 13 if I remember correctly, uh, but they didn't make the GW Panther. Would have been quite interesting because like the Heishrek, it would have had the ability to dismount its turret and put it in an emplacement so they could actually shoot in all directions. Now, Yuto is taking a lot of damage. He's gone down. Can we get shells over the top? No, unfortunately, the trajectory is not very good. It's not very amenable to actually getting a shell into that little workyard in the city. But we might be able to get a shell into those bushes because somebody's in there. And I think it might be a ball sig. Rounds out. Well, let's hope he was there because if he is... And I think he is because I just saw a shell stop inside that bush. So I think something is in there. If he did, he probably took a bit of damage. Okay, so there are shells still going in there. I think he's moved now, but we'll give it another go. Oh, he got him! He got him! Blind shot takes out the ball sig, and that's a good kill. That's an important kill. Oh, and this is interesting as well. Now he's gone back to the city and we're seeing a T-28 prototype, a Pershing and the Viz 44-1. And they're having difficulty in the yard. Rounds out. That's going to hit. It is. Yep. The Pershing, you could tell it was going to hit the side of the vehicle. And he's been tracked. He's not using his repair kit either. So I think he's already used it. It's on cooldown. Now we're two down on the enemy at the moment, surprisingly. But we are having a good battle. Rounds out. This could be a hit. Yes, it is. Another one. This time 191. Hit the side of the turret. In fact, it hit the bustle of the turret as well. And that may have upset his Amorak. I know sometimes in the mods, in the if you look at the insides of these vehicles, you'll see that the Amorak is actually in the bustle. They have put it in there in the correct place. The ready rack. And another enemy tank's gone down. Now it's turned the other way. Instead of being two down, we're now two up on the enemy. And we're looking towards the enemy cap area. 
fact, actually, it's not towards the enemy cap area. This is the redesigned um, map. Okay, we can hit the Caliban. It's a tier 8 game with uh, tier 6 tanks. No, tier 7 tanks, isn't it? Yes! Another kill. That's two kills now. Go for the CS-53. He's got to wait for the reload. Standard reload on this RT, 25.89. He's got 22.56. It is one of the faster firing RTs, but it's still longer than the tier 6 RTs, which of course have got a, some of them got uh, slightly better shells, actually. The 152mm on the SU-8 and of course the M44. Oh, another well-aimed one. In fact, he got the stun assist, did he? No, he didn't get the stun assist, but he did get a piece of that Borsig. And now the enemy's starting to fall apart. They've only got three left. An M12, ISU-122S, and the last one, which is their Comet. And the Comet is a Super Unicum player. Or is it Unicum? He's a Unicum player. Okay, IS-2. Lined up, rounds out. Looks good. He got a hit. And he got the rest of the stun assist. Only two left. There's the Unicum. He's gone. Just the RT left. Waiting for the reload to go in. He's hoping he can spot him just before the game ends. He might be in the bushes. You never know. Oh, he's not. He's right at the back of the map. And he's out. And that's it. The game's over. And it's a victory. Oh, my gum. Look at this. You wait for them to come along, and all of a sudden, they all come along at once. Unseen One Hades of Olymp has just scored his first ace tanker in the GW Panther. Congratulations. Yes, you can tell it's the first one because you've got the scrolls underneath. You only get that the first time, so well done. He also got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got seven. And he's winning in that game 3,266, which is Super Unicum Standard. Let's have a look at team score. Well, he didn't get the highest damage in the game. That went to the K2 on our team, who actually got a Spartan, High Caliber, and a Steel Wall out of that one. 3,774 hit points of damage. Second highest damage went to the ISU-122S on the enemy team, and he got 2,526. And the third highest damage, yes, that goes to Unseen One Hades, who managed 2,049 in third place. When it came to kills, you can see that the highest number was the Bisonte C45, the TVP VTU, both got three kills each. Two kills went to Unseen One Hades, the P44 Pantera, and I think that's one of the new tanks there, as well as the ISU-122S and the Caliban. And when it came to base XP, Yep, Unseen One Hades got that one, so he got the highest on base XP, 1,154. Second highest was the K2 with 1,143. And the third highest was the Pisante C45 with 929. Ten shots fired, very low amount, considering he got an ace tanker. He got six direct hits, one penetrating shot, and 11 splash. Can we guess which ones he penetrated? The Borsig, I would have thought, was one of the penetrations. It was 827 and one pen. Now, I think that may have been the one that was out in the field because this was the other one that he hit whilst it was moving and then it got killed off immediately. So that I think that was more than one hit, but that was the blind shot in the field. It went right through <laughs> and killed him outright. Okay, he also got 11 splashes. 2,049 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters, damaged seven of the enemy, killed two, and did 1,455 uh, 1, hit points of stun assist of 10 stuns, and there's the ace tanker. On a premium count, he actually made a profit of 110,877 credits from the game, he got a 50,000 bonus for mission completion, and he got 3,462 experience points out of the game as well. So what a great match and a lovely first ace tanker. Congratulations to Unseen One Hades of Olymp. You've done it. And now you've got to try and mark it all the way up to the three mark. Hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. 
and thank you for watching.